first world order radio finally finally we are on the air no doubt all right all right there's always gonna be somebody in the building on first world order radio begin on into some of that order consciousness tonight First World Order Radio every Wednesday, 8 p.m. We got to talk about what is taking place on the planet. There's always going to be somebody in the building on First World Order Radio. First, we need to let you know we're going to be doing more shows, giving out more information on Wednesdays. Wednesday is 8 o'clock. We are now going to make this is the hottest day of the week. And others in time, order, and importance. The most prominent parts, voices, or instruments. Earthly state of human concerns and existence. An indefinite multitude, quantity, or distance. System regulates to bring about specifics in the group based on value and natural characteristics. Current radiates electromagnetistics of sound through the air, same as your thoughts transmits it. Proceed in others in time, order, and importance. The most prominent parts, voices, or instruments. Earthly state of human concerns and existence. An indefinite multitude, quantity, or distance. System regulates to bring about specifics in the group based on value and natural characteristics. Current radiates electromagnetistics of sound through the air, same as your thoughts transmits it. You need to understand how magical this, uh, something like this every Wednesday can become. So you need to start uh, getting your calendar right, getting your schedule, your schedule right. You need to know how intention is straight out. All right, so I mean, these clues are given throughout the various languages was to piece the puzzle of this ancient history school back together again. And what we plan on doing, both of us, is bringing y'all some surefire dynamite. We're going to take this level up a notch. We're going to have stuff to do here. This is not just going to be about philosophies and theories. Shit that works. George Washington said that um, he knew about the Illuminati and the infiltration. And he was more happy about it than anyone else. You can get that information. Of course, this was after um, Jorge Washington uh, was actually killed off, who was the real George Washington, and was infiltrated or replaced, I should say, by George Washington, who actually was Adam Weissif, who formed the Bavarian Illuminati. Um, he brought that here to America. All right. Um, this is um, said um, by the Empress um, Verdiasi guess don't turn out bad. She stated that this is actually what took place and what happened. And according to my research in history, um, that is what happened. All right. If you get Cosmic Trigger, I think his name Colin Wilson. Um, He's supposed to have been part of, uh, well, he's part of the Collins family, I should say, um, which is the witch or warlock haven of the Illuminati. They're the ones who do the rituals and ceremonies um, for the large extent for the Illuminati. And um, there's supposedly, according to Fritz Springmeyer, there's 13 um, families or so you have the Astors, the Bundys, the Collins, the DuPonts, the Morgans, the Lees, the Freemans, the Kennedys, the Onassis, um, Russell, Reynolds, Merovingian, the Van Dyne, Rockefellers, Rothschilds, the Canoops, um, Disney, as well as also McDonald's. All right. Um, they have spread their tentacles throughout all nine areas of society, religion, politics, entertainment, hence that's what we're talking about tonight, labor, sex, law, and etc. And you can find those nine areas um, within um, Nelly Fuller's work, Dr. Nelly Fuller's work, as well as also um, the ISIS papers written by Dr. Francis Quest Wilson, who was the student of Dr. Nelly Fuller. It's amazing to me 
how these tentacles spread, and in particular, they are spread within the field of entertainment. So you have the Illuminati slash Boule, um, who have, um, who are in the industry, in which that it is said, in which that in order to reach a certain level of success into the hundreds of millions of dollars every year, there must be a blessed sacrifice. Now, my good friend Professor Griff, um, we brought him down to FSU, Fayetteville State University, about three, going on four years ago. And he was getting into these blood sacrifices. And, of course, some of the things in which that he spoke about is controversial. And we have to go and do more research. But, basically, blood sacrifices in order, you know, to gain fame, wealth. You know, um, he spoke about Damon Dash. Who was the co-founder of Rockefeller's Records, Sacrifice Aaliyah. Jay Prince, owner of Rap A Lot Records, supposedly sacrificed Pimp C. Um, Kanye West, supposedly sacrificed his mother. Jennifer Hudson, allegedly sacrificed her immediate family, um, her mother, her brother, as well as also her nephew. And it's alleged that it was... Um, Kidnapped and found dead. That was supposedly Suge Knight sacrificed Tupac. Um, P. Diddy or Puffy supposedly sacrificed Notorious B.I.G. All right. Well, uh, you know, and there's others in which that, you know, you know that, have, that has been said, you know, um, supposedly uh, 50 Cent's. Um, sacrifice was his mentor, Jam Master J. You know, I mean, it, it goes on. It goes on. You know, and the thing is, is that when you get into the control aspect, we know here, specifically in America. There was something set up called COINTELPRO <clears throat> by um, Gabe Hoover. And we know that um, he actually was a mulatto or black or more from out of Mississippi, from the Hoover side of the family. Uh, and in order to hide, to hide that, he destroyed documentations, photos, or pictures, rather, and... Um, Conceal that fact To conceal it And in order to Not allow for his black genes To come out As he knew that they Probably would What he did was Practice homosexuality So hence he has such a fear Of his own blackness That he practiced homosexuality To not allow for the black gene To manifest Alright These are the things Which that these individuals do So we know that to practice Homosexuality Or To go through some type of ceremony or ritual Based on that We know that to be the truth um, About Right after David Chappelle Left his show, went to Africa He came back And one of the shows in which that he went on Was Oprah Alright In which that he spoke about how the writer, the producer, um, another individual came in to his trailer in order to try to get him to put on a dress. So we know that this, all right, that this faculization, you know, is prominent within Hollywood and is a form of control, particularly. Um, over the black males Because um, It is something in which that um, They somewhat have to go through In order to reach the higher levels Here it was David Chappelle got off at 50 
million dollars, and to do that, he had to influence the minds of the children by putting on a dress on which that many others has already done. You know, from Flip Wilson to um, Andy Murphy to Jamie Foxx, you know, to Mort Lawrence, who he actually spoke about, you know. He actually spoke about, you know, in which that he made a statement, well, what, you know, why do you think that Martin was, you know, in the middle of the street yelling that they're going to come and kill me? Who is he talking about? You know, that's the question. You know, who's the day? You know, what we found out is according to these sex, um, these sex um, control slaves, mind control slaves, is that they have handlers. You know, and once again, if you want to be in, um, you know, the very high millions of dollars, those sacrifices um, have to take place, all right? Um, like, for example, they are so afraid, because we know that's one of the um, Gaga Hoover's, one of his problems was that he was afraid of the um, the black messiah, as he referred to it, within the documents of the COINTELPRO. So their whole thing is to stop the rise of a black messiah. So why wouldn't they control the industry in which that um, produces um, the most black males or the most successful black males, which is rap, hip-hop? They will want to control that. So here come Cayenne West, in which that Cayenne um, means king in African language, and of course, he was the king of the West. Here we are in the Western Hemisphere. So in order to destroy his black messiah, Rise, um, the sacrifice was his mother, on which that now we see basically as, you know, it's driving him crazy, you know, drinking, Drugs, whatever the case is, you know, trying to drown himself, you know. So, I mean, these are the things that we have to look for and understand what is going on. My man Black Dot call it shit hop, not hip hop, shit hop. And that's what rap is right now, you know, the bastardized child of hip hop, you know. And so we got these puppets. Of the Illuminati, you know, which, you know, a lot of these rappers, singers have become part of the problem instead of the solution. Some because of fear of the implications, you know what I'm saying, of the things that they have done. You know, like, for example, uh, we had class this past Friday at Cultural Freedom Bookstore. Um, my wife and I are the, um, the owners. And the sister who was in the field of, she was an actress, she was in comedy. She said that it is true about the blood sacrifices in Hollywood. So I broke down the fact that Hollywood is what Merlin's wand was made out of, Merlin the magician. And so with the wand, you can make image, images, visualizations. And, of course, that's what Hollywood symbolizes, the place where you make, you know, any type of imagery or any type of visual that you can think of. You can go on screen and become two-dimensional, three-dimensional, you know, 3D. You know, so she said that you can feel so much energy, spirits speaking to you. And that from this, it begins. And she said that there were so many spirits 
and she felt, you know, so much energy. She was so overwhelmed, and she um, knew that if she would have thought that she, you know, the thought that, you know, think the thought that she would do anything in order to for fortune and fame, that those spirits would have come and channeled through her. But she said because she didn't make that bond, she got out of it. And she backed away from the scene, and she was about to um, be very successful at it. She spoke on the deaths of these other individuals, such as Tupac. She said Tupac tried to pull out after he made the oath. You can't do that. You have to pull out before you make the oath. And that's how she was able to pull out. What is this oath? It's a blood oath, obviously. These are a lot of things that we heard, used to hear about in rock music, about satanic or devil music. I know as I was coming up, this is some of the things in which that um, was said. Like, for example, Kiss, um, from Nights and Satan's Service, was supposedly... Um, the acronym for KISS, you know, and, you know, you was able to hear some of the Santana messages played forward, and then if you did a reverb, played it backwards, you would hear words like the devil and Satan, you know, and blah, blah, blah. You know, these are all things, you know, laced with the music, subliminal messages, and which has been going on. It's in Yellow Submarine, um, and the Beatles music. And it's throughout rock and roll, specifically. Now it's in all types of music now. No barriers. Even though they say that, for whatever reason, that it is more so these messages in which that is coming from the rappers nowadays. They say, I think it's like 64% the negativity, um, the sexism, um, for women and so forth and so on, comes through rap music, while seven percent comes through country and three percent, no, seven percent comes through pop and three percent um, allegedly comes through country music. As far as the denigration of women, rap has the highest immigration of women. So these things have to be changed. Must be changed. All right. So, some of the problems are if you've been watching these exposed, these Illuminati's exposed DVDs. Um, some of them are all by um, my friend Anton Lawrence. Some have been, even been put out by Professor Griff. Um, you know, as far as on the Illuminati and their involvement in the rap industry, music industry. The thing in which that they fail to realize or don't or don't add into the scenario, at least not on those particular tapes or either they are they are edited or whatever the case is, is that the perversion in which that has been done by those said elite is actually our information. You can actually pervert something on which that is become encoded or embedded within your DNA. They are called archetypes, and these archetypes are within us. The hieroglyphics, or what is called the metuneta, are within us because we are the ancient Egyptians. And what I mean by that is that the Omex were descendants of the Malians called the Dogons, and the Dogons originally came from out of Egypt. And this happened over 8,000 years ago. Okay, so um, the Omex, or the Ish people, or She people, um, came up from the interior of the Yucatan um, Valley Peninsula um, into the Mississippi Valley and settled within the southern region along the eastern coast. Um, along 
um, the northern portion of Northern America, or what is called the United States. And we are the remnants of that genealogy in this day and time. This is all historical. The various books that you can get to verify this is What They Never Told You in History class by Indu Kemet Kush. Egyptian Yoga by Dr. Muwata Ashby. Metuneta Volume 1, 2, 3, and 4 by um, Dr. Raoul Nefa Amin, also known as Shechem or Shechem. These various books explain us coming throughout the diaspora, our rise or spread throughout the diaspora from out of Africa into the various continents. Is my please, man, please Brother Aaron? Yes, yes, sir, Aaron. Yes, All sir. All right, this is Brother Anubis, y'all. Yeah, Anubis, the high priest. No yes, doubt. Sir. Dealing with that comedic knowledge all day, a day, dealing with, dealing with self. You know what I mean? But before I even get into anything, brother, I just want to thank you, man. You know what I'm saying? For for, for constantly being an educator. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate that. Well, but, yeah, man, as far as as far as far my, I feel like, you know, yes, hip-hop, hip-hop is, is, is not dead. It's where it's at. You know what I'm saying? Rap came out of it like a, a bastard child. You know what I'm saying? Now it's time for something new. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. Because right, well, there's so um, many elements yeah. of music right now, so many sounds and vibrations is going, you know, all throughout the universe that it's 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 going to bring something else, something new to the table. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, all right, all right, all right. Hip hop, hip hop is the father. Rap is the best the child, right? Right. But rap has a child coming. It's something uh-huh. else that got the rap. You know, I, I feel like as far as the culture is concerned, you know. Right. You know, and I think that I think I think that you know definitely when the message left, that's definitely when hip hop changed, and and that happened when when the Caucasians or, or you know what I'm saying or corporate America get stuck its claws into into what we know what we knew as hip hop, and, and turned it into this. You know, it became more about money at that particular point in time when it was just about fame and loving the craft. You know what I'm saying? Right. Well, do you think that it came about um, during the time of when they Produce artificially that media um, commercialized um, East West Coast, you know West Coast East Coast, um, you know Biggie, you know Tupac. Definitely, yo, definitely, definitely, oh. definitely, definitely. I, I definitely believe that all that everything that you said, I can agree with one hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? That's why, all right, most of these people that's positioned in the industry right now, you know, we know they're puppets and pawns. You know what I'm saying? They're just placed there to dumb down society. That's why the music is, is the way it is. You know what I'm saying? It's right. nothing about growth. It's, it's not about taking the focus of, of of the taking the people's focus and placing it back on them. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. So it, it's a detrimental tool, you know what I mean, to the growth and development of society and younger generations is coming up now. You know what I'm saying? Right, the homosexuality, you know what I'm saying, the the, the crazy gangster, all that, you know what I'm saying. But they're being paid to do that as well, so they like yo look coming from where they come from too. So a, a lot, a lot of now I don't believe that all everybody that's in there is a part of the boule. You know what I'm saying? I believe that the most prominent and the most uh, public size is. You know what I'm saying? Well, like I said on the um. They definitely on influenced the death of Tupac Shakur. I can go for that. See, uh, Pimp C oh. as well. Um, Biggie right, Smalls, right, I can definitely right. go for that. I'm sorry to cut your wisdom. I can no, definitely no, go for that. Yeah. On my um, brief um, intro um, into the show tonight, you know, my mm-hmm. write up, well, I specifically stated, you know, that um, those who are, you know, the same ones who are play, you know, the same 20 songs played over and over again. Yes, yes, <laughs> you so. know, well, um, never of course. Oh, right. Yeah. I mean, that would, those would be the individuals in which that um, we can definitely say, you know, um, who the most prominent and who makes the millions and I mean, yeah. right now, um, it has been reported that um, Jay-Z and Puffy are getting ready to be the first billionaires in rap. That's great. Now, I don't know about you, but no. Puffy can't, <laughs> Puffy can't, say, Puffy can't um, um, have a group to save his life. 
You're right. You, you, you're definitely right. No, I, you're definitely I mean, right. I mean, you can't name somebody, the who, who, right, name somebody who has stayed with him <laughs> over the last 15 years. Loon stated that, yo, when he was with Puff, in hindsight, he realized that he was with the devil. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Word. In hindsight, right. looking back at things, you know what I mean? This dude right. was the devil. He was a blood sucker. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you know, and and, and, and I, I can, and, and and this is crazy, but see, they're reaching a level to where money aren't real, money really isn't the it, what it is. You know what I'm saying? Right. They're almost bigger than money because right. they're well, they well, already the shit that, amongst the elite. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Oh yeah, you know? definitely. And that's why they sell their soul. And I'm talking about soul and soul, not the soul itself, because melanin is the physical soul. All right. Yes, sir. So you have a hmm. ethereal counterpart to the physical soul, which is yeah. melanin, is the physical, but the spiritual or the ethereal counterpart is the soul, all right? Mm-hmm. So you can't sell that. However, you can sell the dignity, um, um, you know, your honesty, you know, all of these attributes on which that stems from love. Now, you spoke about early frequencies, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And the frequency for love is 528. You know what I'm saying? So we begin to start playing that in the underlying tracks in the songs. That vibration, mm-hmm. that's what it will produce. Mm. You know what I'm saying? For those who mm. are ready to raise their kundalinis to the heart chakra, in which mm-hmm. that will open the heart chakras up, in which that will give them the ability in order to um, not to sell themselves short because they mm-hmm. have low self-esteem issues or no self-worth and no self-love. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They will have integrity. They will have honesty. You know what I'm saying? They will be truthful about themselves and to themselves and to others. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So these are the things in which that they would be able to do. You know what I'm saying? You That's know, true. if they was able to be raised to that particular level. Mm. Mm. So, yeah. you know, we got again, so we're talking about a new art that is coming, you know, a new form that is coming, then it has to be with that vibration. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And higher. Activation yeah. of the pineal gland, activation of the pituitary gland, activation of the hypothalamus yeah. gland. You know what I'm saying? Yes. All the higher glands. Also, and also, see, I, I, one thing, mm-hmm. I, I, when I was, when I was uh, um, analyzing uh, one, of your, one of your movies, you know what I'm saying, the, mm-hmm. the videos that you got out, you were speaking, you, you was also speaking about um, 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 how, how, um, uh, how could, again, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out a way to uh, the phrase it right now. But you you were talking about um, um, the 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 how how our people are starting to be more receptive now to the energy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, of the, the with the soul eye flares and all that, and you know the coming of the the Nibiru or or you right. know the mothership or whatever the case may be. Uh, you know what I'm saying? 2012 and all that, and we're coming more receptive to it. So as a people, that's the only thing that will. That that will that you can build something because the people got to be ready for it. You know what I'm saying? The people was ready for a change. You know what I'm saying? When when at, when NWA came because it, it was different and it, and it's easier for a person to say you know what I'm saying to hell with that. You know what I'm saying? I'm, and, and I'm going to go. I ain't, I ain't doing what's right, but I'm just going to go do this. And as a people, we would we would I think that we would stru- yeah everything was structured. It's, it's it's like a puzzle, man. It's almost as if we ain't never going to get out of this situation. You know. Right. Well, luckily, yeah, I'm just, just looking at it in totality. Right. Well, luckily, the spell is broken. You know what I'm saying? The spell in particular, the Leviathan spell or the Kingu spell of what Dr. Yeah. Mount Kaziyo spoke about. But the spell of Willie Lynch, the spell only lasted 300 years, possibly 1,000 years, but we're breaking it right now. And we're going to bring as many as we possibly can with us, you know what I'm saying, from up under that spell. But for everybody who don't know who this is, this is Brother Aaron Anubis Yates. Um, the Anubis. Brother Anubis, the high priest. And um, we get mm-hmm. ready to listen to his song, Who's Loving yeah, You? I, definitely. I'm here to learn as well, man. I'm just here to learn. Black water, black water, black water. Go to know We ain't playing no more. Maybe play. Underworld. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
in the shadow of death. The streets is like a cemetery. Never worry, just cherish your every breath. Fuck flaws, think bigger, move with caution. Look past all of them. see your problems and abortions. Follow your vision. You burn from your mistakes, so baby, make wise decisions. Stay willing to learn. Look, life is religion. Demons everywhere you turn. Don't get caught up in the hype. Mind fights is firm. Soon to be manifested with time. Heaven and hell is the state of mind. And here she she shall find and knows who grind with cruel intentions. Get pinched in. Nailed to the streets. No prisons if need to mention. Snug built to challenge the gods. Limited to his five senses. Man stands against all odds until he rises, recognizing the pose. And that his body's nothing but a vehicle for his soul. It's a soul you gotta pay. The transcends and meditate and pray. Be open minded, never blind. Just understand is the way I get a wound. Who? 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 Who's loving you? Black water, black water. Who? Who I'm loving you? Unleash, you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Close your eyes and visualize the glory as I wait. In anticipation, the taste was before me. Digesting your story till it's understood. Each event is vividly seen from your childhood or through your teens. You take a man with an open mind who can provide time and answers. Massage the feet and slow dancing. The thugs who can switch zones and romance you. When in this life you live, tell me what you're willing to give. Cause I done heard it all. Niggas ball with its sufficient methods to freeze on the team and shit get heavy. I thought you plan to get with dudes like that They only take for themselves, baby, you lose Playing the rules like that I'm a made nigga, hard body and court Just A6, you pick them, God body and thought All I'm gangster, too smooth to be another mate Make know your place, I recruit but won't chase Now get your mind right, it's a price to blow To rice to throne, we gon' take it nice and slow You know who, man, who, who, black love and you Unleash me, who, unleash, unleash me, you, who, 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 you, who, 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 That was love. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. Was, uh, and um, I see you were throwing the um, throw word. chakra. That was love. The, uh, and the, uh, the navel chakra sound up in there. You you, you trying to raise um, um, that kutalini from out that house, God. Huh? I see you trying sorry, to raise the kutalini from out that house, out that, <laughs> out that area. I, I, I hear you. <laughs> I was saying that you were raising the kutalini. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, from out definitely. the house, from out of this um, boat. Because at the end of the day, I I figure like this, you know what I'm saying? Like I I, I already know, you know what I'm saying? Like you know, give or take. And, and I come, I come, I, my upbringing is rough, you know what I'm saying? So I the way I look at it all is that I, I'm 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 gonna give off as much positive energy as possible, and I'm gonna be myself, you know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna talk about things that. You know what I'm saying? Like my kids or somebody else can listen to and be able to grab something from. You know what I'm saying? That's right. That's right. And and and, so, um, and 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 it's it's all in it's all in the delivery. The sad thing about it is that these guys that's very talented like that, they know how to do this. They can be sending out other frequencies and vibrations, but they're not doing it. You know, and right. they don't want to deal with nobody that's that that that's on that realm because they're so stuck with that. It's easy to say to hell with something as opposed to manning up and standing on your ground. You know what I'm saying? On your square. Right. Right. So they rather they rather yo now it, it's all right here, boy, and this is what been getting me paid, and and they're placed in a position to keep society dumped down, you know. And True. we're here, great music, like everything that you've been here, like that you've been playing all night. You know what I'm saying? Hear great music like that. You know what I'm saying? But they will never give a person the opportunity. If they, it, it's right. like if it's almost as if if a person feels like if they can't control you or the situation that they're putting you in, that they don't want to deal with you. Mm-hmm. And that's what it's all boiled down to. If you look at all the alliances, not just Puff and Jay Z's, you know what I'm saying? Puff relationship with Fifty Cent, you know what I'm saying? Right. You know, uh, uh, and, and look what he did. He signed. He signed MOP. And we ain't heard from MOP yet. You know what I'm saying? Right. Signed Mom Deep and Prodigy. You know, what I mean? you got to search for their music. You know what I'm saying? Right. They don't get no promotion or anything behind them. He practically signed them to pacify them and shelf them. Right. 
You feel what I'm saying? Give them a check. All right, just, uh, because at the end of the day, this is what it become. You know what I'm saying? It all, be, it all boils down to money. You know what I mean? It, it ain't the voices in which that they can produce through those who's willing to sell themselves short. Sell themselves. Sell them exactly. Right, exactly. exactly. And um, exactly, they're willing bro. in order to do anything in order to propagate the homosexuality through the music. All that, um, yeah. All that. You know, mm-hmm. the, all um, that. the debasing, the humanization, mm-hmm. the sexism, you know, yeah. um, you know, through their music. And they they happy to do this. You yeah. know, but see, None of these things is going to exist when we start using this frequency. Check this out. This is what Len Horowitz, Dr. Len Horowitz, he was a former uh-huh. um, um, teacher or professor at um, Harvard University. Um, yeah. What he says, he said in his commentary about evil and medicine and shocking, he said in his solution or revolutionize medicines in the music industry with the medicinal music of 528 hertz, the pure tone of love, the universal healer. He said 528 hertz frequency. He said, this he and his colleagues proved mathematically and scientifically is that the music of love and healing. And he says that this is the reason why grass is green and the reason why um, there's 5,280 um, 5, feet comprise a measured mile. In other mm-hmm. words, um, if the, now you know the grass is green, it's chlorophyll, but he's saying that that's the love frequency. Well, if that's the case, then there's only one difference between um, magnesium, um, there's a magnesium molecule that's in the chlorophyll that um, that differentiated from melanin. Melanin is the same as chlorophyll. So that means that our melanin is based on this universal love principle, universal healer of love. So once we begin to start putting that in the underlying tracks, you know, we have found our solution as far as against the medicines, you know what I'm saying? Because we will understand how to activate our melanin, as well as also within the music industry, as far as this nonsense in which that's being perpetrated right now. You know, uh-huh. I mean, with these particular yeah, high beats, but the, but the people aren't saying anything. They aren't saying nothing. Exactly. So the vibration, like the the consciousness of the people, is not going anywhere. Like I yo, this is what's so crazy, crazy to me because I, I and I said to myself, yo, what is Lil Wayne talking about, man? Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, and, and, uh, yo, and I got to get a shot of the Avion Crocker, but Crockett, because he, he definitely exposing that. You know what I'm saying? You know, the right way. You know what I mean? Because, dude, you, you, you just, you, you don't even have an idea of what you, you ain't making no sense. It's sad to see that we went from, we went from the message to this. Well, that's, that's amazing. You mentioned my man Avion. Um, we used to call him Flex at Feather State University. We went to Feather okay. State FSU together. Um, during the um, um, the late eighties and er- well, during the um, early nineties. So yeah. you know, um, I know the brother. Um, you know, he's from right here, from out of Fayetteville, North Carolina. So uh-huh. um, those in North Carolina and throughout um, support brother um, Avion. Um, he had to do some things to get to where he's at right now. He had to play. Uh-huh. You know, what I'm saying um, some little you know gay role. You know, what I'm saying little you know faggoty role. You know, but yeah. I mean, I mean that's. That's what happens when you're in that industry if you, you know, you're trying to do something. I mean, it's the same thing just like with Wesley Snipes. You know, he played yeah. in Wung Tung Fu. You know, he played, uh-huh. you know, dress up in the dress and shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They originally tried to give that part to Eddie Griffin. Eddie Griffin turned that shit down just like David, um, um, just like Dave, um, David Chappelle. Yeah. He turned it down. Eddie Griffin spoke about how they originally gave him that role, and he turned it down. But guess yeah. who picked it up? Wesley Snipes. And he did it in order to produce or to get his film company going called Amira Productions, which that made yeah. Amira Productions, definitely. That's, right. and, and those are the joints that Blade came off of. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah Blade, yeah, yeah, wow. Right. You wow. know, so, I mean, um, he had a purpose in doing it. Purpose, know, exactly, yeah. I'm with you. But, in the, mm-hmm. but in the meantime, you know, my children got to go back if they ever see Wung Tung Fu, they going to see this. Nigga dressed up as a um, as a weird. woman. And then what <laughs> and happened to him? He faced he faced uh, tax uh, tax um ta- uh, tax evasion charges. Right. Well, I yeah. Was, I, yeah. I was uh, up on Wesley. Was, they went. He was putting so much information out. And matter of fact, he um it was he, Stevie Wonder, Doctor yeah. um Khalid Muhammad, and Doctor Malakazi York. They all was buying land around the Eden and Georgia area, and they was getting. I mean. Hundreds mm-hmm. of acres of land. I think Malakazi yeah. had over 400 acres. Yeah. Uh, 
Um, they was getting ready to get like three, four hundred acres apiece between all four of them, and they was getting ready to form their own city. Mm. And, mm. and he was into martial arts as well, and hand hand, I mean, no, hand to hand combat, and as well as um, um, I, I also he was he was building like a training camp or something like that. And that was going to be part. Of, that's what he was going to do in his four hundred or three hundred mm. and somebody. Wow! Exactly. Wow! Exactly. They went and took all that. They took all that. Right. Let's, let's get all that. Right. Well, they, I mean, look, they killed Dr. Khaled. They put Wesley in jail. You know, they um, Stevie is blind, so they just ostracized him, and then they put Dr. York in jail. So, to me, that was the hit based on them coming together. It's the same thing that happened. Allegedly, with Puff Dad, I mean, not with Puff Dad, excuse me, but Dame Dash, right? Right, right, exactly. Wait, with Dame, Dame Dash, Dash um, 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 Suge Knight. Right, Suge Knight and um, yeah. um, um, Irv Gotti. Irv Gotti, yeah. Right, when they were getting ready to form the distribution um, yeah, the center distrib- for rap. Right, they were getting ready to form their own distribution. Yep. And supposedly Jay-Z squealed to the Illuminati, you know, yeah. or the cats, and they came in and broke it up. Irv went to jail for taxes, mm-hmm. right? Jay yep. Prince, you know, um, you know, he went bankrupt. Uh-huh. Um, you know, um, Dame Dash, he lost his companies. You know, basically, yeah. you know, um, he went, you know, basically bankrupt and had to sell his portion to um, Jay-Z, who was able to mm-hmm. flip it into millions of dollars, you mm-hmm. know, Rockefeller, and, you know, and um, Suge Knight went to jail for violation of probation. For, um, for probation. Yep, violation of probation. Right, right, right. Yep. So uh, they ended that. So there yep. is a ceiling. Yeah. Early, early. Right, ended that right. Early. So there is a ceiling. There, there's a ceiling that you can go, but so far, it seems, as long as we're under them. Yeah. And this is what they need to realize. Yeah. These so called black devils or boule members, yeah. you know, yeah. they need to realize this. You yeah. know, that as long as you're under them, you know, your life of freedom is limited. Mm-hmm. You know, and then you have to do all these stupid things in order to um um to promote yourself to the detrimental of your people. Mm-hmm. To the detriment of your people. The faggotry, you know, the um, putting on the dresses, you know, um, you know, um, you know, all of these things you have to do, you know, the blood sacrifices, you know, yeah. and in the end, you have nothing. You can't take none of that with you. You're not mastering the your own IG or radio your planet. That's one thing. You're not learning how to um, become immortal here. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. You know. So they're not practicing um, Tantra Kriya Yoga properly. They're sexing, losing their life force. They're not learning how to raise the um, energy up. You know, exactly. they got some sexual cults in Hollywood, but, I mean, but then they got cocaine right along with it. They got um, ecstasy and um, all these drugs right along with it. A, a lot of these a lot of these, a lot of these, rappers that sold their drugs, I mean, sold their souls, excuse me, right, it is, I, I honestly, I honestly in my heart, you know what I'm saying, think that, you know what I'm saying? They know the truth. You know what I'm saying? Their focus is on self as well. You feel what I'm saying? But they're not going to promote that. You know what I'm saying? They're not right. going to push that out there. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of them are, in, are is into certain things. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, as far as spirituality is concerned. You know what I mean? So there, a lot of them are dealing with self, but but and this will make them even more wickeder. I'm even more wicked because you 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 know the truth, but you're not gonna feed the people the truth. And it's not right. about money at the end of the day. It's about attaining spiritual wealth. You know what I'm saying? Understanding, right. being in a, a place in the space. I feel that you're comfortable in. Everybody can't be millionaires. You know what I'm saying? Right. Actually, to have a million dollars right now don't even uh, don't even uh, uh, put you in a millionaire stature. Because the value and everything else went up, and the, and, and and the value of the currency is so low, so it's it's the images that's being pushed over the screen as well that got everybody trying to be a rapper, and it for the wrong reasons. You know what I'm saying? Right. That are trying to attain spiritual spiritual got uh, a spiritual wealth and 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 and, and build up they you know what I'm saying they 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 they, they temple and they square. You know what I mean, I believe that it, it, we do, we can exist without money. You know what I'm saying? That, that's the system that was put there. But that's where the that's the root of everything. And eventually, they all end up selling these souls. And as the people, we got to suffer. You know what I'm saying? Now I got to turn on TV and see this little ugly ass dude. <laughs> Excuse my language, but it get me set up too, because I'm an artist as well, and I got something. 
good to say, but it's like, you know, the, the powers that be is just going to drown these people that ain't saying nothing in the airways and down the airs of the people. You know well, what I'm saying? And back. they control all look, that. Look, go back and look at the 90s. That was the rise of the Black right. Messiahs. The Black Messiahs came. Brother J. Big uh-huh. Daddy came. You know yep. what I'm saying? Um, um, Stessa Sinek. Um, yep. um, Public Enemy. Mm-hmm. You know, um, it was a lot, so, three I mean, times. X-Clan, oh. you know, the Black X-Clan. Watch, the whole thing with Brother huh? J. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, it, um, it, um, wise Intelligence, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. With, um, with um, the group. Yeah. Um, what was the name of the group? Um, you said Wise Intelligence? You're talking about um, yeah. uh, um, not from Brooklyn? Four Righteous Teachers. Four Righteous know. Teachers from Brooklyn, yeah. Right, right. So, yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, that was the rise of the Black Messiah. So by you ain't never, the mid nineties and the early nineties, you seen all of that information coming from Rock Kim, coming from um, Kara Swine. You know what I'm saying? With them saying God, and they becoming vegetarians and studying metaphysics. And then by yeah. the mid nineties, they had a rock that's back to sleep with gangster music. You know what I'm saying? With the Chronic album. You know, yeah, Doctor right. Dre. Yeah. You know, yeah. and from that, you, you know. Right, we, we had um, then assault on conscious rap since then. You know what I'm saying? And so that was their way of controlling, you know, the rise of the Black Messiah. Because the Black Messiah would have came during that time period when conscious music was being played on the radios. Mainstream. Mm-hmm. That was mainstream. You know, so now, like you said, you know, here you are as an artist, and you have other artists on in a few. They can't. Mm-hmm. You know, bring out the music that they want. They have to um, come out with some booty-shaking stuff. Yeah. You know, they have to come out with them talking about drugs and how they use the slang. Or they have to come yeah. out with talking about how much they drink. Yeah. You know, they can't yeah. come out talking about respect to the woman um, um, who's yeah. loving you. Yeah. Yeah, you know definitely. definitely. Right. You no. Know, so, I mean, they don't want that. And so our job is to take hip hop, because hip hop still is alive, like you say. It hasn't it's gone anywhere. Rap mm-hmm. is what is dying. Yeah, yeah. It's not. It's dying. You never lie. People don't want to hear the same twenty damn songs on the radio no more. And there's a lot of information out there already that's exposing a lot of these bozos for who they are anyway. So that's right. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, the people is becoming more and more aware of it and what you're doing is showing and prove that. You know what I'm saying? How do you go? To, I mean, like, I, I, I'm i not passing judgment on anybody. You know what I'm saying? But you're a hardcore artist. You know what I'm saying? Lil Wayne at the awards with spandex on. Right. Are you serious? Let bitch skin his pants, spandex. Are you serious, man? And, and guess what? That's going to come to fast Crazy, for man. this generation who watched that, right? Yep. So now you are not seeing niggers just play, you know, just wearing skinny jeans. <laughs> now they're going to be wearing right in tight ass pink shirts. Yeah. Now we're going to see them wearing spandexes, leopard skin. Yeah. That is just and yeah, that, probably that's, thongs. Yeah, that's crazy, man. So when it rolls up off, so when they pull the pants down off their ass, you can see the thong at the top. Yeah. You know, yeah, this is I what mean, the man. On. I watched the man take. I, I didn't make no. This didn't make no sense to me at all. I watched the man take off his shirt and just get hardcore. Took the glasses off the hat and the shirt and just went hardcore with spandex on. I said, Yo, y'all, you got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. This, I, you, I know this ain't happening right here in front of my eyes. No, oh, yeah, it happened. <laughs> feel what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And, and see a lot of things too is see a lot of their supporters like 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 you was like you were saying before you know the boule thing you know what I'm saying that's something that that that, that starts not at the times or most people is exposed to going through college right you feel what I'm saying as, as far as my right. understanding is concerned, through fraternities and things like that you feel what I'm saying right right so right. so well, so the audience right now right. that's supporting it, that's supporting this right is right. it are the ones are, are are the ones that's Nine out of ten times already exposed to that 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 train of thought and that that lifestyle. You right. know what I'm saying? So right. because as the as the camera pan the crowd, I look and I say, God damn, most of these motherfuckers look like college students. Right. That's just dug up and to do anything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then one thing we got to realize too, since the since this is really a structure that is being controlled, 
I'm talking about rap. Not I'm talking about rap. You know, hip hop still alive, but like you said, this is rap right now, and this is being controlled by other forces. Hip hop is right. dormant. Hip hop is us. Right. Feel what I'm saying? Hip hop is dormant right now, waiting, just waiting for an opportunity to come back. You know what I mean? Right. But it's going to be better. I believe this is going to be even better. But but since rap is structured the way it is and controlled the way it is, it's almost like it's almost like uh uh who's to say that these dudes are selling millions of records? All we know is what's being printed up about these dudes. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So we can't believe everything that the media kick out at us anyway. You feel what I'm saying? You know, the, you know, uh, 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 artists can go and pay a journalist for an interview under the table a thousand dollars to print whatever he tell them to print. Right. You feel what I'm saying? And that's a thousand dollars in his pocket, yo. I just right. uh, um, and, and he, all he, all you got is snapshots, and this is what happens now at the times of interviews. But when the thought of these people having all these all this money and these things, you know what I'm saying, hits you through through the article. Then it's already in your mind that they're built for it, so you, you you're chasing that to support it as well. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's almost okay. Cool. All right. If 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 I install in a person's mind or a child mind, anybody with a with a with a with a bean mind. You know what I'm saying? A bean brain. If I install it in their mind that I'm I got this and I got that, then eventually they're gonna believe that and they're gonna deal with me like that. You know what I'm saying? Hello. Yeah, yeah, we here, go. Oh, all right, all right, all right. And they, uh, but yeah, eventually they're going to do me like that. And because they're going to support my music because of the illusion that was already fed to them. I can eventually reach that level. Right. So it was about illusion. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Magicians. These dudes are magicians with words. You know what I'm saying? If you can alter a, a person's mind state with words or just with vivid pictures, that's that's the work of a magician. You can make somebody see something that they ain't, that ain't even around them. You know what I'm saying? To entertain thoughts that ain't even in their head to entertain. You know what I'm saying? You altering their mind state and these people is, is they 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 they're made up you know what I'm saying? Their talent eventually reached them to a level where, okay, cool, they buzzing, they got this, they got that. But we know that it ain't that much money in rap right now anyway. That's why everybody is trying to crawl out of it. You know what I'm saying? Only people that's coming in is the people that's, you know what I'm saying, crazed off of fame or whatever the case may be. A lot of people ain't coming in solely because they they got they, they feel like they are they have a voice that's powerful and, and need to be heard. They want money and all types of other, you know what I'm saying, uh, things, and some of them are being – Position in these positions by people that's getting the opportunity to do what they need to do. You know what I'm saying? Like right. I, I, I mean, it's, it, it, I don't know if I'm explaining myself the right right way, but oh, yeah, what I'm yeah, saying yeah. is that regardless of how you choose to look at it, it's 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 a structured game. You know what I'm saying? And they're right. one with the media, the government, and all that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. all the articles come out. You ain't gonna never hear nothing about. Beyonce and Jay Z, regardless of what they go through, because all Puff Daddy, because they're too valuable. You know what I'm saying? They're valuable right. pawns in this game. You know what I'm saying? Word. Right. So, regardless if they got money or not, is irrelevant. They've already reached the level where they're at. Right. You know what I'm saying? And in that position. You know what I mean? Word. But in order for them to have got there, it was all illusion. It was illusion. The body was shaking and all that. It was illusion. Word. It was well, delusion and trick knowledge all the way around the board. I can't, okay. I, I, you know, Hope did give us Jay Z. I, I, I can say Hope because I got this thing like, you know, it, 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 as far as you know him being able to milk the game. I always look at it like that, but then I always have to fall back on, you know, what I'm saying the fact that he's he he's he's executing the will of somebody else as well. You know what I'm saying? Right. Mm-hmm. And that's the person or whoever the body of minds. There's that there's, there's the control of all this right now. Right. It's just crazy, man. Underground, I think, is the best way. Independent is the best way. You know what I'm saying? You know. Uh, all right. Word. So what we're gonna do? What we're gonna do, God, is we're gonna go to the um, phones. There's some questions and answers um, that we want to deal with. Um, but before we okay. get to that, um, I got a comment to make. Um, all right. All right. Definitely. Couple, for those uh-huh. who don't know who the Boule is, let me go into some of the history. It was formed okay. by Charles Wesley and Henry Minton, um, as well as also um, W.B. Du Bois. He formed the New York chapter of the Boule, um, wow. you know, um, after the um, Niagara Falls Conference, you know, after 1910. Um, 
Henry Linton's form in 1906, the Alpha Phi Alpha, in which that uh, became the first uh, fraternity, you know, and then, of course, you had the eight sororities and fraternities. You have the um, four-piece. You have the Alphas, um, Alpha Phi Alpha. You have the Kappas, um, Kappa Alpha Psi, um, Kappa um, Pi, um, Pi Psi, or Pi, or South Pi, um, I can't remember which one, but um, you have um, the Sigmas and you have the Omegas or the Qs, um, as they're called. Then, of course, you have the female, which are the sororities. You have the AKAs, the Deltas, um, um, the Sima Gamma Rose, and um, the Zetas. All right, so those eight become part of the Hellenistic Council in which that over that eight is... The boule, all right. The boule is over those eight sororities, and the boule is a French word in which that means advisors to the kings. All right. Go to get some, um, watch some Steve Coakley um, YouTube videos. Um, Steve Coakley is the foremost expert on that subject. Um, read the Ghetto Time magazine. Read Frontline magazine. Um, Frontline magazine is by. Uh, Marcus Klein, I was a writer for Frontline Magazine. Um, that's real information, y'all. That's real info, you know. So we're going to go to the lines right now. I um, just want to drop some of that history, and um, we might got some questions for you, um, Brother Aaron, so stay on the line. Definitely, bro. Definitely. All right. Peace. Um, 910, you're on the line. Ended in 2620, you're on the line. Two six two zero, you're on the air. Nine one zero. All right, we're gonna go to seven seven two. Area code seven seven two, you're on the line. Hello? Yes, peace. Peace, brothers, peace, brothers, man. I like what y'all doing, man. Y'all get y'all keep it so official, man. But, that dude, uh, Lucas, man, he the truth, man. He got some things for y'all, man. Y'all got to keep listening up to the brother. Brother got so much knowledge, man. He dropped that hey, knowledge, bro. man. Good looking, bro. You already, Good looking, you already bro. know what this is, man. You already know what this is, man. That's 772. That's Florida. But I wrapped that uh-huh, that's, that's Florida. That's Spook Mart. Gun smoke. What's good? Uh, that's what it is. You already know, man. I'm listening to your brothers got that knowledge, and I'm definitely respecting them, man. They got to, they got to, they got to, you know, unloosen them, them, them rings, man. They got the rings too tight on this industry, man. There's too many nice and, and dudes with a message that don't want to get it out there, but dudes ain't letting them get it out there because the industry is so monopolized, you know what I'm saying? It's so, yeah. it's so, it's so... And so they just take it and they put it in their pocket and they just get it out, get your piece here, get your piece there. And you got to really know, know people. You ain't got to have talent. You just got to know people, man, to have an image, man. And they, that, that shit is fucked up. That's what's killed. Sorry about the cursing. Hey, that shit yo. is messed up because it's, 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 it's killing the industry, man. The, the, the crazy thing about it is this, right, is that, you know, you know, not just as an artist, but as a young black man coming up in America. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the regardless of, you know what I'm saying, what we went through, we went through it, and we surpassed that. You know what I'm saying? But just the mere fact that I, I, I'm being controlled or my life is being controlled, just the thought of that is crazy. So, you know, at times you don't want to think that that's what it is, but that's what it is. And it's crazy when it comes down to that because, because you know, a person is not never going to put you in a position if they feel they can't control you, and that's what it boils down to. Most of these people that's in positions, got in positions because the people that put them in a position, they sold their souls a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? And they only put them in a position because they can control them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Word. That's crazy. You know what I mean? Word. Like out of everybody on Rockefeller, you know, I have nothing against Jay D, Jay Z, and and or, and Kanye West is a beautiful artist. He's he's a well put together artist. You understand what I'm saying? You know, he's very talented. You know what I'm saying? Jay Z as well. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of motherfuckers that's talented, but then it all fall back on the message that you're giving out to the people. First, you're talking about Jesus walks. You know what I'm saying? Now you're calling women bitches. <laughs> 
<laughs> this nigga, this nigga, man, niggas is crazy. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. This they nigga got a shag thing. behind his head. <laughs> <laughs> it has jeans on. You know what I'm saying? Big ass sneakers looking like a clown. You know what I'm saying? If he ain't got that shit on, the, the nigga just dresses straight like a woman, B. And it's crazy because they, and all that shit is some European European shit in its, in its essence. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. You know what I mean? That's that Greek shit. Word. Greek the freak. Okay. Khalid Muhammad said it the best. Yeah, we got more um, questions here, <laughs> some more callers, so we're going to get to them. Thank you, brother. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yep. All right. 718. 718, New York, you're on the line, you're on the air. Hello? Yes, Hello? Yes, hi, this is Hi, this is Naomi. Hey. Hello? Yes. Hey, hey, what's up, Naomi? What's good? What's going How on? How you doing? How you How doing? How you doing? What's happening? I haven't gotten to hear the whole show, but I wanted to, um, I wanted to comment about your your topic about rap. And I don't, I think it's, I think that it's glorified, I mean, it's not necessarily rap that's should be like in like the necessary topic, but it's a lot of authors out here that's contributing to glorifying rap and making it seem like it's this lifestyle that we all got to do that break the law and you know shake our behinds out here and live this immoral life. You know, it's a lot of other people that's contributing to rap, and our, our rappers are you know they shouldn't be at fault most of the time for what they say. They what they do is appreciated all over the world. Everybody love it, you know. Mm-hmm. Just yeah, definitely, definitely. You got a point with that. You got a point with that. But but what we what also see if you would have heard the whole conversation though from the beginning, we started talking about the vibration. You know what I'm saying? Where where they have the vibration, right. the conscious, the conscious state of the people at. You know what I'm saying? You know, right. it, 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 it's not fruitful. You know what I mean? I, I, as an artist, I would like to hear some, and I do listen to people that's that's very talented and got something to say, something I can take and apply to myself. That's why I spend my eleven ninety nine on. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? At the end of the day, okay. yeah, I love the party and all that. You know what I'm saying? But if that's all that come, that's coming out that vibe, then I don't want it. And, and it's definitely not nothing that I want my kids growing up listening to Weaver. You know what I'm saying? But it's something that has been providing. It's been getting people off the streets. It's been some, It's been put, putting food on the table for people. It's been and what is the the, what's the option for a lot of black people out here to do something the like option, most black men are conscious of what See, they listen, do? At the end of the day, you can't say that. You can't. All right. Honestly speaking, a person got to do what they got to do for their situation. I'm not knocking nobody for making no decisions that they ever made. You know what I'm saying? But we cannot, we still can't deny the fact that, you know, there is an unseen hand that's controlling this music industry. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of money in it. You know what I'm saying? But yes. With, and, and, but, but with rap comes control. You know what I'm saying? Like these people have platforms to talk to people. You understand what I'm saying? That's and, a and lot of influence. They, they and do power. And with power and it makes people feel good. good. It makes With people feel good great. to listen to rap because they get to hear things that uh, that aren't addressed every day at the presidential debate. They get to hear things that are not addressed at the water cooler. So they get what to person do you things. know that listen to rap is worrying about what's going on at the presidential debate? I know a lot of people who are interested in <laughs> Talk about First this of all, in the I was there. I, was, I know that? a lot of people in a religious <laughs> sector such as Ben Hey, ben but look, Chad, man, nobody ben cares Chad about that in certain situations at home. You know what I mean? Hey, nobody cared mean, about he? the politics that the government was talking about and going through up until 9-11. You understand what I'm saying? Their parents, I think they about do that? care. Yes, they do. They do Listen, care. Our entertainment in a, dormant state. a lot of money spent on entertainment. We need more, and we need more music, Nate. You know what I'm saying? We need more music that can uplift the spirit. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. That's all I'm saying. Right. That, you know that, I mean? that, 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 that has to do with country people. Country people need to talk about God. People have good you music, too, God. and they have it's not only music. gospel people. It's every other, every type of genre of music has to include the struggle between war and, and Okay, and so why are we the only ones they, partying they in the recession? They all should address those things. Why are we the only ones in the recession? They, 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 nay, nay? Yes. Why are we the only ones that still partying in the recession? Huh? I mean, well, it has nothing to do with that. Just, just pushing that vibration and keeping the people stuck at that vibration. That's As true. if the people that's making the music don't know exactly what's going on. 
But we they do know, have a movement know, around here but, that's, but, but, that's, that's but to cut a that's check, they're going to do what they got to do. And I'm not point. knocking that. But what I'm saying is that you have this other, other artist that's coming up. You know what I'm saying? And it's all about growth. Everybody got their own way of bringing the message forward. You know what I'm saying? I'm not knocking nobody for no decision that they made. What I'm saying is that if you're an artist and you're a real person, you know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, you're a man with a family. You got responsibilities. Then you're, one of your responsibilities is to help the youth elevate their consciousness. You owe that. You owe that. I think you know rap in more Man. ways, and it gives the power and a lot of what we do is in our energy. actions as people. Like we choose to knock, we choose to block out what we have to do for ourselves, and then when someone right, gets a certain amount of that, test, we play, we feel that they should address those things, and you, they they just want to use their talent. I mean, if you can if you can put some verses together and rap and make somebody and make a mute and make a song, then that's what that's what you should do. That's God gave us the talent. I'm All not, He asks of us is not to forget about Him. And whatever, and yeah. whatever we want to sing about, I get it. It should, it it has, I'm, it is okay I'm by saying, him. I'm Nana, not, yo, excuse, Naomi, I'm not saying that people are not entitled to listen to whatever music that they want to listen to. I don't care what a person chooses to listen to. That's their that that that's their prerogative. You know what I'm saying? I can't control that person. I don't want to control that person. Right, because right now we're talking about rap music. Look about the uh, East Coast, West uh, Coast. Uh, what about uh, the I'm East sure, Coast no, and West Coast thing? Uh, the only person you gotta understand that, was, that you gotta understand that, was such that you a know, big drama, and most people chose to ignore that. Like literally, like record companies could not go to the West Coast without having to worry about their party getting shot up. You know, everybody it, it was scared both ways. Like the West was not trying to come and do album release parties in New York. Like they wouldn't hire nobody. It was such a big thing behind the scenes and in the media, and it had to take. One man who was who's not in the business, who's not in the rap business, not an artist, and I'm pretty sure at his age he's not so much a typical fan. He's married. Liz Jay's Mr. Ben Shabbos had to put that Hip Hop Summit Action Network together, put Hip Hop Summit Network together just to mix, to save the face of rap, just so that it would so people would stop retiring, music pe- executives would stop, you know, putting good talent to good talent in the studio. He had to literally something had to be done. And he asked me, What did you what do you think what what could we do? I didn't have no answer for him. I couldn't say because all I was doing was answering the phones. I'm thinking like, well what's gonna be done? And this man said he was gonna do that and I've seen I've seen rap change. I've seen him. I mean Come on, like I'm not. I've been listening to rap since I was a little girl since the '80s, and it had it was stronger than it was today, and it did, and it made me feel good. And then today, it's just been watered down by by Satan. But he's gonna continue to do that. But talent still has to emerge, and it's up to Dude, every this individual. Is, hey, hey, Nene, and Nene, you 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 you're saying everything that we we're practically saying as well. So yeah, we're saying exactly. that that the time for that is happening now. It's just that there's certain people that's already in position to try to stop that, like blood clots in the body. But rap, rap is a bastard. I mean, that's pretty harsh to say. I mean, no, we, it we, is we, a we bastard. It's a, it's a motherless child. I mean, a fatherless child. And hip hop and how good it made you feel, and even you had to admit that rap now does not make you feel as good. That it's been watered down. So being that it's watered down, it's been bastardized from hip hop. Which used to make I, think real real I think it's been watered down. I think it's been watered down because callers, people. Oh, we got to go. We got other callers okay. online. All right, all right, Nate. Thanks for the call. Nice to meet you, Dr. Oh, Update. Okay. All right, hey. so I'll talk to you. Bye. Thanks for taking my call. All right, peace. All right, caller 765, you're on the line. 765. All right, call a 614. You're on the line. Peace. Peace. Peace, family. All right. Peace. Sam. Yes, peace. Peace. Peace, 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 peace bro. Insight, family. Man, huh? this, this, this Brother Morgan. show, family, man. I'm, yeah, this is Brother Morgan. Brother Morgan, it's you. Yes, hey, sir, peace, bro. Is, How you doing? <laughs> I'm good, brother. How you feeling, man? Yo. Check it out, man. Great show tonight. I'm really feeling this, and it's crazy because the brother you were talking about, I a minute ago from the um, from the Ghetto Times, he on our show in a couple of weeks, going in on the Boule and all these um, on the uh, on the other fraternities. Um, and, and, and much respect to Steve Copley, Bawa Copley from my hometown, for exposing yeah. these cats. 
You know what I'm saying? Definitely, definitely, bro. Have. So I was yes, going to say that. But back to the hip-hop thing, man. Brother, I felt your music. I'm feeling this conversation. And my question for you, brothers, is a lot of artists, you know, that make good quality music, of course they don't get the mainstream airplay. They don't get their records on the, on, on the radio. They don't get their videos shown on TV. What can we do to encourage the young people? Because I know the young shorties I listen, I, I work with, they get in my car, you know what I'm saying, we listen in the straight underground, whether it's cats, you know what I'm saying, like Wise Intelligent, Kendrick Lamar, you know what I'm saying. Or young cats, I think, that's making good quality music. What can we do as a whole, as a community, to promote these artists that go voiceless out here to the mainstream? What can we do as a community to, to promote their music? Number one, we, being that, as you... And I, we have radio shows, so we can start promoting it on the radio, set up venues where these artists can Absolutely. come at in order to do their things. And then we got YouTube that you can download the videos. You know, like mm-hmm. um, Brother um, Aaron, I know you want to talk about the green screen and yes. um, and, and, um, and the information that you deal with as far as doing the videos. There's a lot that I'm into right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm about right now. I'm I'm in the process of I'm, I'm putting I'm putting something together as well. I'm getting my own ready. Uh, I'm not my ready station, but my own site where I'm gonna have videos on there, tutorials as well to teach to teach our youth how to engineer. You feel what I'm saying? To teach our mm, youth how yeah. to to edit using Final Cut Pro. You know what I'm saying? Not not Windows Movie Maker or iMovie. You know what I'm saying? Like like because this is where all the money is at. The money is not really in being a rapper right now. You know what mm. I'm saying? Unless you got something that's really valuable for people to say. I mean, um, people to buy. You know what I'm saying? So so you want to go behind the scenes because a, a, a rapper is just a, a a a person with a voice. You know what I'm saying? You know, your, your substance as a person is, is one thing. You know what I mean? So what I'm, what I, what I, what I can do is and that's what I'm going to do, rather. But I, I'm going to help. I'm going to help the youth and educate them and show them that they can do this and see. And, and these are the things that people out in the streets grinding for. They're grinding solely to get. Um, uh, uh, money to go to the studio. You know what I'm saying? To find an engineer, to pay an engineer, or to find somebody to film a video, or or, or to edit and things like that. You know what I'm saying? Right, so right. once you once you take the issue of money being out of it, and all the person got to do is be able to apply themselves. You know what I'm saying? I do a lot. I'm an artist. I I I, I film. I edit. You know what I'm saying? I engineer. You know what I mean? I make my own music. Everything. You know what I'm saying? So so and and, and, I, and I'm only I've only reached that level because I pushed myself and I applied myself. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I, I figure it's, it's nothing worth having that will ever be easy to gain. You know what I'm saying? So if it means that much to you, then you can get it if you want it. You know what I mean? The best promotion mm-hmm. is word of mouth anyway, especially when you have a platform to talk to people. You know what I'm saying? It's just getting the material material together. And shooting it out to the people, because we do have our. I mean, we we we're where we at right now as far as our audience and things like that. But if y'all can keep, if y'all if y'all, y'all what y'all doing, what y'all doing, you know what I'm saying? And y'all got the platform right now with the radio, word of mouth spread, boom, and we got more people just tuning in, checking in, get a site or whatever the case may be. Most your artists on the site, you know what I'm saying? We got to stop going to Jordan Towers, and World Star, and all these other. Excuse my language, dick in the butt ass websites. You know what I'm saying? That's charging you an arm right. and a leg. You know what I mean? Because they feel that they can because they got an audience like that. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Nah. No. The hell of a world star. I, 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 I don't even want my shit up there no more. You know what I mean? And you go to world star and check my shit. My joint up there right now. You know what I'm saying? Under Anubis. You know what I mean? But then I went back to them and told them, yo, look, I'm, this is what I'm trying to do. Some niggas hit me back like, yo, look, uh, such and such, your homie, uh, you know, you got to pay us 5000 You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, we, only, we, only, we only pick up people that got more than 150 views on YouTube. Fam, I got 259,000 views on YouTube off one commercial. You know what I'm saying? I raised a tiger in Holland with my brother. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? And right. finding the plan. A platform, I don't know what is. The documentary aired, the first night it aired, 30 million sold, I mean, 30 million views throughout the United States. That's on the comeback. You know what I mean? But, but ain't nobody going to put me in, in a position because I'm an outspoken spoken person and I'm, I'm just, and I'm, I'm about my, you know what I'm saying? I'm about, I'm about self and my people. You know what I'm saying? 
So they ain't gonna give, mm-hmm. give you they ain't gonna give you no platform like that. Nah, man. It's just a grind that we all got to work together the best way we possibly could. Even if it's through networking the uh, best way we could, but it got to start there. And that's for that's for everybody that's tuned in. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got to show support to what's really real. Now now if if your artist ain't saying nothing or if a young artist ain't saying nothing, everybody wanna be rappers, but you got to have something. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be sitting up four or five hours, you know what I'm saying? And, and this is off the muscle. I'm not going to be sitting up four or five hours recalling and engineering a motherfucker that for one ain't got their bars and everything else, their song and everything else tightened together. You know what I'm saying? Or engineering a motherfucker that ain't saying shit. <laughs> nah, man. That shit, is, that, shit is, that shit is bullpen therapy. That's just like being in uh, 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 um, Central Bookings. On the county right. jail. Okay. Real hey, so it's real on, it's on, on, it's on an artist quick. and it's hey, on the drive quick. behind an artist. Hey, Everybody hey, hey, looking. Hold, hold on, the brother talking. What you saying, brother? Pardon me? Excuse me. No, I Pardon just want to get another quick question. I want to get y'all a thing because I know y'all, you know what I'm saying, you know, uh, students of hip hop. Jay Electronics yeah. is one of my favorite MCs that's out in the game right now. And a lot of people are giving him flat for signing with Jay Z and Rock Nation. How do y'all feel yeah. about that signing, man? Because I just got one of his new songs that um, is on his new album coming out, and the song is dope, man. He he he, he he's real slick with his with his short, man. So I wanted to get y'all opinion about Jet Electronic, and I'm gonna get off uh, and so y'all can take some more callers. Peace and blessings, I'll lean to you and the uh, Queen peace, fam. Peace, yeah. peace, bro. <clears throat> well, I answer that. It's real simple. Um, Jay Z, if you go back and watch uh, when he was with um Jazzo, um. They were studying at the time the Nation of God's Nerf as well as also the Ansar Allah Nubin Islamic Hebrews. Um, Jazzo was a member of the Ansars. So if you'll see in the video um, them holding up a picture of Dr. York at the end. You know what I'm saying? So Jay-Z, he knows the information, you know. Um, mm. You know, he heard it. <laughs> Even though he claims that he has not read many books, you know, <laughs> but after he was around those who read many books and he listened, you know, whatever the case is, whatever that people want to believe, you know, and then Cayenne West, I mean, he, um, you know, knows this information also. You can hear parts of this information in his first album. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, these cats know. So, of course, they signed J. Electronica. You know, who, um, once again, who, Nation of Guys on Earth, Father Center, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, who's into the information? You know, who, actually, at one time, um, recently, um, he was dating Erica Badu, who we know also mm-hmm. um, is into the Father Center, Nation of Guys on Earth, and, you know, um, a student of, um, of um, I think she was a student up under the up under um, Queen of Four also, you know, mm-hmm. so... I mean, there's, there's a lot of information in which that is going on. You know, the problem is is that we don't know where these individuals stand at. If they are mm. just um, metaphysical in the sense of the occult, of the way or the perspective in which that we come from, or if they are definitely doing the bidding of the Illuminati. Now, when you reach nearly the billion-dollar mark, as they are saying that Jay-Z is reaching towards then we have to question and think about if something, if that information is connected, if if that is true, you know what I'm saying, because you don't reach the billion-dollar point, you know, um, as someone who, you know, in other words, there's a limit, like we said, a ceiling, it seems, in which that you can go, but so far, if you're up under this system, up under this structure, you know, and mm-hmm. the fact is, is that when, you have millions and billions of dollars, and you don't come out of that structure and do something for your people, and you don't form schools for your people, and you don't form um, homeless shelters for your people, you know, and you don't do the things in which that you probably thought that you would have done once you got into that industry, and now you have the money, and you don't do it now that you're in there. You know, even though, I mean, how many times has Jay-Z claimed to have retired? <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know, yeah. um, um, I know it's been at least twice over the last 10 years, you know. So, you know, these are the things that, you know, um, that we have to um, speculate on, 
You know, I'm not saying that it is. I'm saying that, yo, we have to think. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because, um, you know, who want to get tricked by the devil? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is where we're supposed to be at right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's a, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You what ain't never lie. And, and you know what's crazy, bro? I was watching something with the guard earlier. You know what I'm saying? And 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 when he was talking about how how they how 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 uh the outside forces came in, you know what I'm saying? Which is you know what I'm saying practically like you know what I mean the corporate world. But at one time they really want to rap hip hop was for us. You know what I'm saying? You know right. then these, these 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 corporate giants came in. You know what I'm saying? Brought a part of that. You know what I'm saying? You know a few motherfuckers sold us out. We already know who that is Russell Simmons is one. But you know what I'm saying? Sold us out. You know what I'm saying? Just flipped everything over. You know what I mean? Uh, but, and, and I ain't going to lie. I love Run DMC music. You know what I'm saying? But I, oh, yeah. yeah. Whenever you talk about, whenever you talk about hip-hop and the rich and, 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 and where it come from, you know what I'm saying? From some reason, all this man can see is Run DMC. Right. <laughs> he doesn't see nothing else. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like real talk, and and that was the start of it too, the breaking of it. You know what I'm saying? When you know what I me, mean? and he was a tycoon at that time. They used their finances and their resources, man, to shut everybody out, man. And brothers couldn't even get yeah. no money no more. That was sad, b. No doubt. Three uh, zero two, you live on the air. Peace, 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 peace. You hear me? Peace. Yes. This is brother Messiah. Peace, brother. Run on, brother. How you doing, man? I'm all right. Yeah, I, all I right, just wanted right. to make a comment. Um, you know, the hip hop music and what it's doing to the youth. You know, oh. today, with the um, hip hop music that got out there, and man, I'm an artist myself. I, I I rap, I produce and mix. You know, I got the whole package myself. But the music that's going on out there today, because I'm from the night. That's what's up. Yeah. The, the music. The music that's going out there today is like, I mean, it got these kids running around where I'm from in New Jersey. It got these kids running around acting crazy, gang banging, throwing up gang signs, shooting each other. They can't even get along with their own gang. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And that's, in my opinion, that's a part of that agenda. That's a part yeah, of that Illuminati agenda in Hollywood. Please. And, 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 and yo, but if you don't mind me adding on, bro, you hear me? Uh, pardon me. Yeah. I don't mean to cut you. Are you done? What what was saying is that these dudes is provoking this gang violence. You want to see what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I'm, I mean, like, real talk, I, I don't even know, and I'm not trying to make this a joke, but I don't even know when it'd be cool for a gang member to wear spandex on stage. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, but, I, but yeah. it became a fad. You know what I'm saying? So this is how we're going to control these masses right here or wherever the dummies is is going to go for it. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of a lot of artists is right now. You feel what I'm saying? Like you know, they they uh, Lil Wayne, for one. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh 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 the with, with the blood thing that he's doing, whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I can I can say the same for 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 people like Jim Jones too. But he's a person that's giving back to the community as well. You feel what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. so but. Ultimately, the, the whole thing is that they they they. But Wayne is bigger than all of them. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what he's doing in New Orleans. I'm not. I, I, I mean, what I'm saying. But when you when you when, when when you, it's just your music and the vibration of it. The sad thing about it is that you represent you represent something. You know what I'm saying? That's supposed to stand for something. You know what I mean? But you don't stand for it. Exactly. You know what I mean, you working with the enemy to keep us our youth. In a dumbed down situation, and a lot of these kids running around here, this bloods and crips, oh, bloods and crips, game banging right now, it 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 is it, undercover faggots. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. I, I mean, yeah, undercover, I mean, uh, undercover faggots. You know what I mean? Real talking, and that's the sad thing about it because they done already the influence done already hit them already with the drugs and everything else on top of that. That's mm-hmm. the sad thing about it. What? Yeah, you know and I, I try to. Oh. I all the time try to build with the youth and try to, you know, get them out of that mind state because I done been there. I done ran the streets and stuff like that. You know, no doubt, been, no doubt, for sure. Things like that. So, you know, I'm older now. I know that route. And I, I already know the influence is basically yeah. coming from the media. Well, they ain't not yeah, it is coming from the media, definitely. I, 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 hands down. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I agree with you 100%, but, see, I'm, I'm, from, I'm from New York. You know what I'm saying? So, right. so and I was in prison when it started. You know what I mean, not when it started, but but when it reached its peak. 
You know what I'm saying? And I know that it it is not it wasn't just the media. You know what I'm saying? It was a whole bunch of dudes that didn't care. You know what I'm saying? It was the 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 way it was created in New York because the New York wave is what hit Jersey. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. As far yeah. as that's concerned. You know what I mean? First and foremost, honestly speaking, you know what I mean? The the the, the West Coast ain't never really accepted New York as being bloods or crips. You know what I'm saying? We were always looked at as the older brothers with knowledge from Jersey and New York area. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, like, yo, that's we were the gods. You know what I'm saying? 5% Nation was all all up, to, all all through there. You know what I'm saying? Our yeah, music reflected that. Even it, at the time when game balance was at its all-time high in, 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 in California. I say that to say that it wasn't so much of the media, but it was people you misuse, misusing their influence. From prison, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The you know what I mean? The media just got a hold of it, and anything that can make a black person look bad or make us look bad as a whole, they're gonna use and exploit it and throw it right back in our face. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? It's but it, 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 see, but 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 it, 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 and since hip hop right now, we dealing with the topic as well. I, I'm just saying that that that's, that's the it didn't start with the media. You know what I'm saying? It was a jail thing coming from a New York perspective. You know what I'm saying? And it just flourished and just went crazy, and they used it to exploit us, and now the music and the vibration of the music is keeping them in, at the frequency that they at. They need to hear big brothers. You know what I'm saying? These They don't need a, 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 a gang members and all that, but it takes a certain type of person to reach them too. So if you're in your hood and I'm in my hood and, 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 and I'm who I am, you know what I'm saying? I can't say that I, I can't rap about this and not live it. You know what I'm saying? So when you see me, you see what I rap about in my in my aura and in my actions. So I'm a nigga that's active in my hood and everybody that's in my hood know that. You know what I mean? I'm the first motherfucker to tell them, yo, look, man, you bugging, chill. You know what I'm saying? What, what you doing? For what? I mean, it's some things you can't control because you ain't always there. You know what I'm saying? But as as big homies or big brothers in our hood, we got to start stepping up and realizing that it ain't cool. You know what I'm saying? And exactly. then checking niggas to think that it is cool. You know what I mean? Because because if we're gonna change the course of the the, the consciousness of our people right now, then it, it, it you know what I mean? It, it, you got to step up and just and, and just be about what you're talking about right now. You know what I mean? And when the younger guys can see that that's around you, they riding out. They, they riding out. They going to be with you. You know what I'm saying? And, right. and in my hood, I, I have a beautiful rapport in my hood. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I always give that energy back to the youth. You know what I'm saying? You know, on the strength of me, I, a lot of young brothers is, is, is free and not dead. On the strength of you, you know what I'm saying? Being a good brother and a conscious brother as well. A lot of whoever you can grab, you can you can you can you can snatch up and you can you know what I mean? You can you can build up. You know what I'm saying? You can show them what a man is supposed to be about. You know what I mean? But you know, other than that, man, you got to let the rest. I, it's sad. It sounds sad, but sometimes you got to let the higher forces or the ancestors sort things out. You know what I mean? I never thought I was going to go to prison as long as I did and do as much time as I did. I'm grateful for that bid because had I not went went there, in hindsight, I could see myself getting murdered and not being here right now to do anything. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes a bid is good. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's just that anything that we do, they're going to find a way to control it, exploit it, and then and then to use it to control us. You know what we always had this saying back in the day, because you know I came up under the nation of gods and earth. That's my foundational yeah. structure. And Definitely. we always had this saying um, amongst the penal system: uh, self confinement is power refinement. Mm. And that's exactly what it can be if that's what you want to use it for. If that's, that's what, what you want to use it for. My point exactly. exactly. I mean now, and, exactly. and now one thing I have to say too, brother, your your, your big bro, Aline, you hear me? Is, is yeah, that, is that we have to get together and build our own thing now. It's not about signing no deals with nobody no more because we already know what the rap industry is about. Right. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Now, 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 we have to get together and start putting our resources together as unsigned and underground artists. You know what I'm saying? And stay independent and grind like that. You know what I'm saying? And stay solid wherever we at with our handle. You know what I mean? That's what's going to happen. Right. That's what's going to happen because what's going on now is that you have people that's tired of grinding and they're going out their way to try to connect dots. You know what I'm saying? With these people that's already situated in the situation that they're in. 
You feel what I'm saying? So, and, but but they don't want to they don't want they don't want to deal with what's what's right here around them. You understand what I'm saying? So we need to, we need to be able to, to okay cool you doing that over there like for, for, and, 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 and and I'm just saying that we need to connect dots. You know what I'm saying? We need to start building and getting this underground thing popping. We need to make this what it is because we do have influence. All of us have influence. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know then then with the resources you can change things. You know what I'm saying? But you just can't change things just by rapping. People want to. People buy music from from other artists just because they believe in the artist. They believe that the image and the the the, the illusion that the artist is perceiving. You know, I mean, I'm giving to them. So they when they believe that, they're more likely to go accept it. Okay, so if we talking real shit, you can't be talking the real shit and be living like a a, a clown. A, a clown. You got the you got the man up. You know what I'm saying? And 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 and, and be living the things you're talking about. And that's what make a person want to support you and be a part of what you're a part of even more. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, we have other um, questions. It's about um, we're asking them to the lines. Um, thanks, brother, for um, um, asking yeah. that question. You know what I'm saying? Um, we're yeah. going to go to another caller. Peace. Thank you, bro. All right, peace. Peace. All right, caller 765, you're on the line. Yeah, this is brother, uh, Kyra Aline Bay, calling out. Yes, brother, Bay, I, I just... This Peace is uh brother. this is a grand this is a grand thing. Peace be upon y'all as well. I just wanna mm-hmm. say like, you know, like kinda touch on something that the brother was just talking about. You know what I'm saying? That you know, the underground scene need a fight I I personally feel like you need a, 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 a financial structure so you know what I'm saying, you can actually get your own you know what I'm saying, information, because these are Jews ones that drop it. You know what I'm saying? Like the brother Rakim, you know, yeah. this one, when he, he, he went to go sign with Aftermath, and Drake put uh-huh. him on the back burner. Drake put mm-hmm. him on the back burner and threw 50 Cent out here. Word, word, real talk. With, you ain't with, never lied about that. Gay butt. Look, with you, gay butt. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you know what I mean? I mean, it, look Still at it like this, bills, bro. <laughs> look, 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 yeah. check this out. Check this out, right? We know who the enemy is and yeah. how they attack and demand state of our people. We yeah. got to do the same. We got to use them same tools, man. We got to yeah. utilize them same tools, you know what I'm saying, to get our people. You know what I mean? I, I, I look at it like shock marketing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just like how, how how we, you know, we, we, we on this land right now having this discussion. What if, what if one's just running around here with a big dumbass billboard mm-hmm. in every state and every city exposing? I mean, they see it every day, but you got to mm-hmm. put it in the, in the way where, you know, that guy that got on them tight pants is walking down the street or ride, riding past that billboard look up there, and he feel real stupid when he get through reading what it say. Make him go home, get out his car, and put on some clothes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shock marketing. You know what I mean? But at the same time, you know, you utilize some, yeah, utilize some finance. Look, utilize some finance. Utilize these medias that we have. You know what I'm saying? Like this here, this blog talk radio. You know what I'm saying? And keep doing what you're doing. You know what I mean? And then and 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 always demonstrate. You know, I mean, I, I come out of school with Drew Ali, so you know what I mean. We 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 are conscious one ourselves, mm-hmm, so we are, mm-hmm. we just leave you know what I'm saying. We leave y'all brothers with peace and love. You know what I'm saying, and, 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 and keep them jewels out front, man. You know what I'm saying. The creator going the creator is is and the ancestors, man. They 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 you know they they with us. Uh, no, definitely, and and and, 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 that's one, and that's I told brother Liam, I said, yo, man, we got an army, man. You know what I'm saying? We got it. We definitely got an army. You know what I'm saying? It's no way in the world that that because uh, I don't I'm, I'm not I'm not with the hype that uh, as far as you know what I'm saying like you know uh, Satan being some type of uh, ghost or some shit like I ain't with none of that. You know what I'm saying? No, I, no, I, no. I, he I is not that little red man running around with and negative, negative charges. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I no, deal with positive negative charges. You know Hello. Right. Yeah. But, but the no, I'm, saying, I'm like I'm like was, I'm like body. Hmm? Hello. Go ahead. Yeah, let's 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 get into that. You know. What oh no, nah, I'm, I'm saying right. that the body body it's is a vehicle for these two forces. 
know what I'm saying? So yeah. me personally, like like even with me being an artist, I recorded a lot of music with a, with a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? It really it really never went anywhere. You know what I'm saying? I you know I, I but I got material. But I'm saying to myself, I, I I've reached the level to where I'm like, if you're not vibrating at the same frequency I'm vibrating at, then I can't do no music with you. Not only can I not do no music with you, but I'm 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 in a position now in my life where I have to listen to what's coming with what I'm saying out my mouth and be able to live it. You know what I'm saying? To to right. manifest it, actualize it. And right. if you're not built to do that, then we can't even we 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 can't build or do anything. You wanna know what I'm saying? Because we, you got some dudes that's rapping about drugs, girls and all that and I, okay, you can do all that all day, but when I'm gonna hear something that's uplifting? If I can't hear that, yo fam, I, I don't even want to deal with you. You know what I'm saying? And, right, and, right, that, that, and that's the truth. So it comes, it truth. comes to a point to where now it's not just about music no more. It's about being real about who you are and and, 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 and being a vessel for that God power, that 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 that, uh, that God energy that allows you to to, to snatch. What you see from out the you I mean, that's going on in the universe, you know what I'm saying? And be able to put it down on paper and manifest and all that. Now you have to become that in the flesh. I can't just sit up there and talk. I got to, when you see me, you have to be able to see that in me. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. You know, man, and, man, and, gotta, gotta be, gotta be the message that you bring. And, and now that I'm living it, and I'm, I'm living it, and it's a part of my life, I definitely don't want to be around a motherfucker that can't design on the vibration no more because. I'm living it now. It's real now. You know what I'm saying? And you right. already showed me that you a black devil, just like Prodigy said. You ain't nothing but a black devil. You know what I'm saying? You got an opportunity to talk about anything in the world, but the only thing that can come out your mouth or the only song that you can make is downgrading your women. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it's about getting high. Hey, but see, do you know, do you know one thing is though? A lot of a lot of these ones, this a lot of these ones that's being led down this 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 stricken path. Is 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 unconscious. That's why they being guided like that. But one thing, one thing we got to understand too is this, right? You got to look at Lil Wayne. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I, it's, it's, you know, it, it's, it's a sad thing that the, the young boy is bugged. It, he gone. You know what I'm saying? He burnt out. You know what I'm saying? He out of that. But see, he's burnt out. You know what I mean? Whenever you sit there and say, I just do things because I uh, don't want nobody to understand me. Nigga, if you're going to sell records, then the purpose of you selling records is to get the people to understand you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? All great artists did that. You understand know what I'm saying? So now we got to look back at this. It's it, it, it's not too much money going in the rap. You know what I mean? So right. what we think right. that these people got, they don't really have, and they really ain't that strong. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, and whenever God plans, I mean, whenever Satan plans, God has a higher intelligence and plans over that. So it never ends out right. the way Satan you know what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm. always going out as a progressive thing. So at, at in the beginning, I said, yo, okay, hip-hop is where it's at. Rap is where it's at. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to bring hip-hop back, but we need to focus on what we need to do. We need to look at ourselves as the creators the same way the the, the pioneers and forefathers of hip-hop looked at things. You know what I'm saying? Music hey, but you is know what? Person. You know what? I think, I think in what you just said, just in what you just said, look at it how... You know what I'm saying? They did it. I think hip only re- the only do it I think the only way the only way that hip hop really gonna come back is for us to supersede what it was when it first started. But keep we got, that you know organic. What we got to do? Keep all them, of those, keep all, of, all, of, all of all those of us, those of us that know we got it. You know what I'm saying? That know we have the influence. We got to make it right. cool again. We got to make it yeah. cool again. You know what I'm saying? To want to learn and, and want more out of life. I remember one time when I was coming up, and I, I I hate to go this far, but we have to deal with this before we can deal with any enemy because we're still dealing with self. I remember one time when when I was coming up, and and I, I came up under some 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 real stern people. You know what I'm saying? That, right. that that didn't play no games. So if you came around and you wasn't built like that, you got washed up immediately off the set. Yeah. See what happened was all those. Busters that got washed up is the busters is in a position now. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. These are the ones that was like, yo, listen, if you ain't got nothing, my teachers always told me from up north in jail, if you ain't got nothing to say that's productive that's going to add on to this cipher, don't say nothing. Yes, sir. Uh... You understand what I'm saying? And it, it starts <laughs> right there from taking these individuals that we around. So we got to make it cool to be smart again. 
No, right. Yeah. Well, uh, the dude you know that I had to play your song here, um, I'm Anubis. And so, um, brother, thank you for um asking the questions. We're gonna have to move yes, on. Yes, sir, brother. Thank you. Uh, Appreciate you that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, you're Peace welcome, to the God. 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 Appreciate you for um, yes, asking the question. Yes, um, Yes. Real no talk. Real talk. And they kept it there. You know what I'm saying? Right. Real talk. They kept it there. You know what I'm saying? He, he, see, and, and that's the crazy shit about it because you know you you you, you don't they don't they don't want too many black black brothers together that got knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Right. No doubt. So eventually everybody had to break up and go solo, but they still was one unit. But they, you know, every ghost did his thing, Ray did his thing. Everything they did, I believe, in my opinion, because I'm a, I'm a Wolf fan, fight. Right. Well, as a matter of fact, they're going to be um, in Charlotte, North Carolina this weekend, yeah. Saturday. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. man, Fox. we was online. We was checking out the tickets and all right. that. Right, man, right. Yeah, but, but I, if, if I can make it there, brother, I'll be there for that. You know what I'm right. saying? Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, so we we trying to put the situation on, uh, together on this end because I would love to connect and build with other brothers as well. Be, you know what I mean? Because we ain't alone. And one thing we can't do is get we can't we know that the 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 beast is already out there. We already know that. You know what I'm saying, bro? But what we can't do is allow that shit to keep us timid and scared to right. move forward. You know what I'm saying? And stay and and, and, and become more unified. You know what I'm saying? So when, when when I'm saying when I'm talking about as far as like hip hop and I said something that got to come out of rap, what I'm saying now is that I'm not taking nothing from none of the pioneers of hip hop. You know what I'm saying? They gave uh, they gave us the message. You know what I'm saying? No doubt. But now well, it's let's, time. Let's, let's go it's, some but, of but at that time, a lot of a lot of them wasn't in a position. You know what I'm saying? Comfortably to be able to exercise. You know what I'm saying? Certain certain um how you say it? Uh, certain disciplines. You understand what I'm saying? Right. You know, and, and, well, well, let's, and, let's, let's 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 go into the metaphysics before we get off the air. Um, okay. What All I right, bro. Break no doubt. Down Definitely. Is the mm-hmm. science of the chakra system. You know, because okay. whenever we get into music, you have to break uh-huh. down how it relates to, you know, the um the body. You know, uh-huh. like when we get into music, you know, we know that there's um seven music notes. Some say eight, uh-huh. and eight is based on um. The next octave. So yeah. you have do re mi fa la ti do, and do mm. goes back, you know, to the um to the octave, you know. Mm. So, you know, whenever we get into that, you know, that's the chakra system also. Is that yeah. the thing? So mm. you know, the chakras. If we knew the keys, you know, mm. those keys that we just finished going over, and how to mm-hmm. tap into those energies, like um, yeah. for example, the root chakra is, is C. You know, yeah. the music note. You know, the solar plexus is um, D. Uh-huh. Navel chakra is um, D, excuse me. The solar plexus mm. is E. The heart is F. The throat mm. is G. You mm. know, um, the third eye is B. Mm. You know, um, B flat. And um, the crown is B. Uh-huh. You know, so, I mean, yeah. once we you know, understand that, you know, we can go through the seven chakras and go yeah. through the um, particular notes in which that is um, played in order to tap into each one. Uh-huh. You know, so I mean, these are the things that we have to start putting into the music, not just you know, making what yeah. sounds good, but um, adding some of that um scientific mathematical information into it. Mm-hmm. You know, Definitely, um, bro. And um, you know, going to the various sounds because there's seven chakras oh. and each one has a note. Like for example, uh-huh. the crown chakra is the I sound, I, and uh-huh. then the E sound is for the crown is for the third eye, E. The throat mm-hmm. is A, A. The um, mm. heart chakra is ah. Uh, the um, mm. solar plexus okay. is ah. Uh, the navel chakra is oh. The um, root chakra is you. So if we was able to add those notes along with the particular frequencies, you know, into the music, you know, we would be able to awaken our people, you know what I'm saying, through the music. You know what I'm saying? I mean, similar to what I think this was something in which that Michael Jackson had the science on. You know what I'm saying? This is why he sold, you know, over 150 million records. You know what I'm yeah. saying? As far as um, huh? just one album. <laughs> you know, um, yeah. in particular that Thriller album. I think that's what he was doing, moving from off, you know, from from off the wall album to the Thriller album. You know, that yeah. he understood those particular notes and. By the time that the industry realized that he knew, you know, they had to suppress him because being that he had the name Michael, 
then that's the archangel Michael who dares to be like God, who dares to be mm-hmm. like a law. You know, mm-hmm. and they had to suppress that Michael energy. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And then they what? finally suppressed it by having him as a blood sacrifice. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. um, you know, so these are the things that we had to look at. You know, look at all the Michaels. You know what I'm saying? They had to suppress them. Michael no Jordan. Doubt. Michael you know, Jordan with his father. Michael with his father. His father. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, Mike Tyson. Um, Mike Tyson. Uh-huh. You know, yep. you know, um, you know, so, I mean, the Michael energy always had to be um, suppressed. Yeah. You know, and definitely. so, I mean, because they're the ones who dare mm-hmm. to be like God. Because of that mm-hmm. name, when you when you say that particular name, Mikael or Michael, you know you you are you are drawing in that same energy of that definition through the wordage. But, so um, can I can I add on real quick, bro? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. You, you, what's 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 deep about that is that you know I I, I read something too before throughout my studies, and it was it was some some Hebrew literature. I, I forgot exactly where I got it from, but it said that when Moses went up to the um, Zion Mount Zion. And and was supposed to had came in contact with the burning bush, right? That it was there was in all actuality a representation of God, which happened to be the angel Michael. You know what I'm saying? God came down in the form of the angel Michael. You know what I'm saying? Which was the archangel. And it's it is it's it what's deep about that is that Mike went against this whole system. Right. The sad thing about it is that Mike didn't have nobody in this corner that was ready and willing to draw their sword. Right, you understand what I'm saying, and that see, and that's something that the Messiah, that the, the coming Messiah faces. See now, but the but as far as I, I can see, like I don't, I don't think, you know what I'm saying. I know for a fact that the Messiah, it, it's, it's different ways of looking at things, you know what I'm saying. But the Messiah can also represent a group, a collective group of minds, you know what I'm saying. No one, no one, one body, you know what I'm saying. No one purpose, no one. You understand what I'm saying? Well, so but when I, when I look at it, that's crazy. Then I look at you know how, how America is built is built off the blueprints of Egypt, but yet still the leading religion is Christianity. Right. You understand what I'm well, saying? But it's built on the blueprints of Egypt. Um, to say that it, no, on the surface, that's what I'm on the surface right, of it. Society, the majority of the majority of you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the citizens right. or the people in this country are are either Christians or Muslims. That's right. You know what I'm saying? We're not dealing with this, this, the, the source, the energy. You know what I'm saying? We're not dealing with the science. You know what I mean? You know, and 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 that's where we get lost at. You know what I mean? Okay. The focus is on everything else outside of self. You know what I'm saying? And, and not on self. It and, and, I, and the crazy thing about it is that you can give a person twenty dollars, right? And they be down on their luck. This is this is just crazy. You give a person twenty dollars and they be down on their luck. That person will go to sleep, right? And and literally be like, oh my God, man, yo, think that, yo, man, if it was for him, I don't know what I'd do. Regardless of what he did with the twenty dollars, right? I don't know what right. I'd do. A uh, man go to sleep thinking about you in good faith and everything. You know what I'm saying? Right. Which is a beautiful thing. But but the same way he thought about you, he never took the time out to send a positive thought to 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 to, to relax yourself, breathe, and send positive thoughts to his in, to his organs and his body. Right. You know what I'm saying? Never sent a positive thought to his heart, faking his heart for beating. Never sent a positive thought to his liver, to his lung. You know what I'm saying? For breathing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 his kidney for flushing. You feel what I'm saying? And these right. are all, 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 all these are factory workers inside the body. Without them, right. without them, he couldn't even be able to enjoy the $20. That's right. And and this is what's so crazy about it is that the focus got to get back on self. You know what I'm saying? And all these dudes, man, they they know exactly, man, what's going on. You know what I'm saying? But like, but but as I was saying earlier, it's about us realizing that we're not going to be scared no more. You know what I'm saying? We have to come together and start building. We got to we got to rid ourselves of the thought that this beast can't be destroyed. You feel what I'm saying? And this beast can be destroyed, but it starts It starts right where everybody is at right now. I don't care if anybody just listen to this. It starts right there where you're at, in, in the space that you're in. Once you can control your space, then you can step outside of your space and try to get other things in order. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So it starts with self at the end of the day, and, 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 and that's why I love you, brother, because because the, the, the metaphysical teachings, man, is just so powerful. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. For real. 
But, but ultimately, it got to start from a, a, a level of respect and being able to recognize who you are and what positions you play inside the circumference that you're in. You know what I mean? If you in the neighborhood, don't sit up there because you, you ain't no different than the Jehovah Witness. You sitting up here saying, yo, these motherfuckers are doing this, these motherfuckers are doing that, and I ain't doing nothing, da 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 Just like a Jehovah Witness, but going to church and then coming right out of church and 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 and, 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 and look, look at these heathens. Oh, these motherfuckers is crazy. Da, da, da. But then go up to their house or whatever, do God knows what, what, what they do. But somehow in their mind, they didn't detach themselves from the environment that they're a part of. No doubt. You understand what I'm saying? And, 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 and the same energy that it took for you to point the finger at a motherfucker is the same energy that it takes for you to go and try to pull a motherfucker away in itself. But some of them are so scared and timid that they don't even want to do that. So it's not on them to do it because we know that most of them in our neighborhood are passive and, 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 and weak. We got to reach out to the generals. The generals got to do that. If you got influence in your hood, you need to step up and check what's going on in your hood. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. And oh, make yeah. sure that everybody is, is right. You know what I mean? I, I might... I, I, if, if if I'm not if I'm not an aggressive person, right? But I know people that's aggressive and got influence and control over in my neighborhood, and I know that I can reach them. Then I'm reaching them. You know what I'm saying? And as long as I reach them and I still get the number, and I can help shape and and, and 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 guide their actions in the way that they relate and, and communicate with their neighborhood, then I've done my part. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and with that growth in consciousness, then they'll be receptive to what we got to give them. Right. You know what I mean, but it start it start with us that that have the 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 the, 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 the platform right now that's in a position to reach out to the youth to 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 to, to check everything that's going down that ain't right. You know what I mean, yo, get away from my little brother with all that. That's how I was when I was coming up. We lost that. You know what I'm saying? Well, let's, let's we talk about that. um. Let, let's get mm-hmm. back into this um. This information, you know, dealing with the industry. Definitely, definitely, but, um, definitely. Lauren Hill is one of the prime examples of someone who pulled out. Mm, you yes. Know, um, I'm with you. Okay. Okay. Was, um, based on what she stated in her um, Zion song, you know, huh? they wanted um, her to um, kill her child. Wow. And so, wow. Um, you know, she pulled out and played crazy. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, recently, she, you know, she tried coming back. She tried coming back a couple of times, but, you know. Um, Word. And, and, and it's crazy because they how they target the queen like that. You know what I'm saying? And whenever you whenever you stand on your square, especially as a woman, that you ain't trying to bow down. It's that much more harder for you inside this business. I can see it. It's just so crazy. Right. You know what I'm saying? Word. And the sad thing about it is that, you know, she really didn't have nobody that was going to step up and hold her down like that either. Right, and that's what happened. And that's the sad thing about it, man. Well, that's the sad thing about it, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? But, um, that, that's, I, that's, I that's what. You, you, and you know what's so important? crazy, bro? Because it almost mm-hmm. pushes you to a point when you see these good people going through things like that. It almost pushes right. you to the point where you got to really say, okay, cool, I know what's going on, but real talk, man, I, I, you, I'm, I'm not going to be out here trying to try trying to save the world. You understand what I'm saying? Right. I'm not gonna be out here trying to save the world and I'm going through shit but motherfuckers don't care fuck about it. You know what I'm saying? They don't care. Right. So you got to focus on your square and the people that you could build with, you know what I'm saying? Right. My my teacher saw X when I when when I was in prison and, and and my other teacher Solomon used to always instill in me. You know what I'm saying? If you give a fool a jewel, he'll turn it to a stone and throw it at you. Mm. Deep. And we're going to end so on that note. Knowing all oh, brother, this, we're going to end on that note, Brother Aaron, because we got to go. Um, okay, okay. I, I thank you for having me on, brother. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah, always bro. a pleasure to build with you, bro. We're big, bro. Real talk, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Word. All Real right, talk. And anytime you want me on, all you got to do is just let me know. You know what I mean? No doubt. Word. I ain't a hater, but they got to bring heat. They got to be talking about <laughs> something and I and I ain't gonna take my pick. You know, I, I feel I'm gonna feel the way I feel regardless of what. First world order radio. Finally, finally, we are on the air. No doubt. All right, all right. There's always gonna be somebody in the building on first world order radio. Get on into some of that Buddha consciousness tonight. First world 
Porter Radio every Wednesday, 8 p.m. We got to talk about what is taking place on the planet. There's always going to be somebody in the building on First World Order Radio. First, we need to let you know we're going to be doing more shows, giving out more information on Wednesdays. Wednesday is 8 o'clock. We are now going to make this is the hottest day of the week. Proceeding in others in time, order, and importance, the most prominent parts, voices, or instruments. Earthly state of human concerns in existence, an indefinite multitude, quantity, or distance. System regulates to bring about specifics in the group based on value and natural characteristics. Current radiates electromagnetistics of sound through the air, same as your thoughts transmits it. Proceeding in others in time, order, importance, the most prominent parts, voices, or instruments. Earthly state of human concerns in existence, an indefinite multitude, quantity, or distance. System regulates to bring about specifics in the group based on value and natural characteristics. Current radiates electromagnetistics of sound through the air, same as your thoughts transmits it. You need to understand how magical this, uh, something like this every Wednesday can become. So you need to start uh, getting your calendar right, get your schedule, your schedule right. You need to know how intention is straight out. All right, so, I mean, these clues are given throughout the various languages was to piece the puzzle of this ancient history school back together again. And what we plan on doing, both of us, is bringing y'all some surefire dynamite. We're going to take this level up a notch. We're going to have stuff to do here. This is not just going to be about philosophies and theories. 